Hey everybody, um, I just want to make a quick uh, pre little disclaimer, announcement, whatever. I didn't film last week, um, last weekend like I usually, because I film on the weekends, and I didn't film last week because of what happened in Florida. I just couldn't bring myself to like, you know, put myself in front of camera and still even not in the best of moods or anything, but I'll try to do this video uh, the best I can, as usual. Um, anyway, back to the video. I just wanted to say that because I know I promised you guys a video a week. And I don't like breaking my word. Um, so, anyway, now to the video. <sighs> it's a... Uh, 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 discussion, book discussion slash review, I guess. I don't, I never know if my book discussions even count as a review. Um, it's for, <clears throat> hopefully I can get this in shot. Uh, Sweet Temptation by Wendy Higgins, which is, uh, the, her Sweet Evil trilogy. Uh, but in Kaiden's point of view, it's just like all three, the whole trilogy in his point of view, but it's like, Kind of like highlights from the all three books. It's not like all three books. It's like snippets, you know, from all three books. It's not like the entirety of the trilogy in his point of view. It's kind of like... Well, obviously he couldn't... He couldn't um, I know I'm blabbing and rambling, but anyway. Obviously, the scenes he wasn't a part of, he couldn't have in this book because it wouldn't make any sense. Um, anyway... Okay, I'm gonna, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna, like, tell you the summary slash plot. I mean, same thing. Uh, characters, um, what I thought of the writing and what I rated this series overall. Because this is, like, like I said, it's like, I'll, say, I'll even uh, tell you the, I only got this Sweet Temptation. I don't have the, uh, this from the library, obviously. Um, I don't own the series or trilogy yet. Plan to in, in the future. Okay, so I'm just gonna get to the plot. I'm not, I might, like, mm -hmm. story, I feel like I'm gonna do story time or something, but, uh, there might be a few words I leave out, because, like, I'm not gonna say that on camera. Anyway, um, <clears throat> bad boy, this is the uh, summary. Bad boy, Kaiden Rowe has never wanted for anything. Money, popularity, musical talent. Not that he's bragging. Anyway. <laughs> Hot girls, but seducing them is part of his duty as a nymphlum. Nymphlum are different in this series than they are, like, say, in the Mortal Instruments or whatever. Um, s slave to the Demon Dukes, as a son of the Duke of Lust, Kaiden has learned his father's ways, becoming the master of passionate... I, I'm sorry, I, I can't say that with a straight face. A manipulator of chemistry, yet again, can't say that with a straight face. Disobeying his father would mean certain death. Thankfully for Kaiden, he's good at his job, and he enjoys it. He's a dude, of course he does. <laughs> Until he meets Anna Witt. Smart! Feisty! And inexplicably good. The one girl seemingly immune to his charms. Or is she? I add that or is she part, anyway. The daughter of a guardian angel and a fallen one, she makes him wish for more than he could ever deserve. Determined to save all the nymph from their dark lives, Anna joins forces with Kaiden to overcome the Duke's oppressive ways. In the light of her affections, Kaiden must undergo his toughest test of all, a battle of the heart. And the last paragraph I am definitely not reading, but you get the gist of it. <laughs> okay, and now on to the characters. I'm going to see what the, the, their, who their parents are, you know, what, you know. Um, like, uh, Kaiden, his um, dad is the Duke of Lust. That sounds so cheesy. But this is a really fun trilogy. It really is. Um, 
Um, Anna, Anna, her, her dad, father is the Duke of Substance Abuse. And then there's the twins, Ginger and Marna, who are from England, and their uh, dad's a Duke of Adultery. And then there's Capono, who is uh, the child of the Duke of Wrath. And then there's also uh, Blake, whose father is the Duke of Envy. And Anna has two best friends. I can't remember the female one. <laughs> but the male one is Jay, but she does have a female best friend. Um, and uh, she uh, was not raised by her parents. She was raised by her um, a friend of her family's uh, named pa uh, Patty. And on to what I think is the writing. I love Miss Wendy's writing. Um, I'm not kissing her butt or anything that, you know, I'm not, that's not me, but I really do enjoy her books. Um, she's not as well known as the other authors, but it doesn't make her any less good or enjoyable. Um, and the series on a whole, I would give like a strong four. Um, which is really, really good. That's really good. It's not, don't frown at me. It's like, that's really good. Um, I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the plot. It was like a completely different take on Nephilim, like from other series. Uh, the character growth for Kaiden's amazing. I mean, from book one to book three, it's like, wow. And then there's the epilogue. I won't tell you what happens in the epilogue. You have to read the books. <sighs> but, don't, I mean, if you think it's like slow or not your cup of tea after the book one, read the whole trilogy just once. If you don't want to buy it, then go to the library and you may fall in love with it and want to buy it anyway. Who knows? Um, like I said, I enjoyed this. I read this trilogy, you know, when it was first came out, I think, pretty much. Um, so what else can I say? Uh, yeah, I'm so good at this review thing, aren't I? Uh, let's see. It would, I think it would make a cool, like, mo maybe movies? I, I, not sure. It probably could make a really cool TV show, too, because it, it could be expanded upon and... Visually, it would be really nice because there's a lot of world travel uh, in the, you know, the, the books. Um, now I'm just going to, uh, so you know what reading order, you know, since I don't own the books, I'm just going to have to name these off for you. Uh, book one is Sweet Evil. Book two is Sweet Peril. Book three is Sweet Reckoning. And then the one I showed you is Sweet Temptation, which is... Uh, the first three are from Anna's point of view, and then book four, Sweet Temptation, is from Kaiden's uh, point of view. So, that is my discussion slash review. Uh, uh, like I said, I would give this a strong four for overall for the whole trilogy, plus the fourth book, which... I don't count as a book four because it's just, you know, an alternate point of view, which is enjoyable because you go, well, what does that character do when he's not with the main character? You know, you don't know. Uh, so, till next time, peace.